Ivy League may be one of the most magical phrases in higher education. But an Ivy League degree does not necessarily guarantee quality education or success. Before you run away hundreds of thousands of dollars to study in America, we want to give you a way to know what you are getting into. Sitting next to me today is Professor Ian Cooper, Professor Perry Class. My name is Haiyun Jiang. I'm a uh, graduate student studying at Boston University. And what do your department look for when you're evaluating uh, applicant, international applicants mm -hmm. in Well, our applications are long and fairly complicated. Um, we don't do, uh, we don't use the usual, you know, graduate um, uh, record exam tests, you know, the GREs, yeah, um, because we don't think that it tells us very much about an applicant for our particular curriculum. And I think that's a tremendous advantage to have an area of expertise, but I also think that the good generalist reporter who knows how to go into a world, a subculture, a setting, and find your bearings and make connections and learn the specialized vocabulary, I think those people play a tremendously important role. I think for me it's uh, language barriers. It's because when I first got here, Sometimes you can only understand like 80% or 70% of what your professors are talking about. So that kind of like baffles me at the, like in the beginning, but later it's like, you know, um, getting to know the language and the forms and um, getting to know more people, especially American students. So I think that helps me a lot, but language barrier is definitely the biggest challenge I've ever faced.